What's going on you all? Welcome back to Timsa and today we got a banger for you all. Today we're talking about a cheap VR streaming setup. Now not just any cheap VR setup. I mean this is potentially the cheapest one you're ever going to come across on YouTube and here's why. We're going to break down everything of what it takes for VR streaming in today which is going to be 2023. Crazy. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and if you like content like this give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Interaction does help with the algorithm and us helping others like you so I appreciate y'all fam. It's all VR baby let's get it first things first to start off with cheap vr streaming setup is to have a quest 2 the most affordable the best overall bang for your buck when it comes down to virtual reality and the standalone machine this is the king the queen this is the echelon of standalone vr right now they're doing everything and how it's upgraded itself and massive updates coming around quest 2 just dominates everything when it comes down to vr in today's realm making it easy accessible and allowing people like myself to help and share and introduce these features so that you can step into VR with ease without being too intimidated. So of course, have yourself a Quest 2 to start off on your VR streaming setup. Next, you wanna have your phone. You had to indefinitely have a phone if you have a Quest 2 because you had to link those together for security, for safety, for just information and more. Create yourself the meta account and everything, of course. So you always have to have that phone. Why? To make things short, you could actually cast over to your phone and stream on your phone through the tool Twitch app that already makes it a cheap VR streaming setup. I do have a full on Quest 2 streaming from your phone tutorial. If you want to check that out, I have that link below. And aside from that, you're always going to need your phone anyways, and that'll be one way to actually stay in depth with this. So now you have your Quest 2 and your phone. Now, next, this is going to be a shocker. Here's where the cheap VR streaming setup comes in your PC, right? People are like, oh, PC, they get intimidated by that. I found one of the cheapest PCs where I was able to encode a stream at 720 60 frames per second, a Dell Optiplex 7020 and I got it for $80. We'll talk more in depth as to why this is accessible and why you're able to do this. And of course, you wanna be able to have a display. So if you have a TV or a monitor, you'll just connect that PC that I just mentioned and you'll connect it there. Now, if you're having a trouble finding a budget PC, just go all over eBay. They have it titled, displayed, where they're available for actual PC gaming. But in today's realm, we're not actually gonna be using it for PC gaming. We're gonna be using that to just encode a stream. And of course, a webcam of your choice. There's tons of bargain webcams out there from 15 to 20 dollars that work pretty solid or you can go with more of a logitech like a c270 but there's a lot of actual valid webcams that are very affordable so i suggest you get one and, and you can have fun with that it's not a requirement to have a webcam that's just for fun if you want to show your audience what you're doing in vr movement wise interaction wise and then next you just need your streaming software which is Streamlabs or obs and these are both free so that's definitely a cheap vr streaming setup when you have stuff for free so let's break that down you need a quest 2 and your phone to be able to integrate those two together I'll potentially just do a phone stream and i have that video already linked next you'll need a very budget pc i got mine for 80 dollars. i'm using a dell optiplex 7020 then a cheap monitor or tv to help display this feature so we can talk about the next level on how to get this stream rolling webcam of your choice but it's not a requirement that's just for fun and more interaction and emotional interaction with your audience and then your streaming software which is Streamlabs or obs which is free you're not spending too much money which is great so let's talk more about how this stream actually works and correlates with quest 2 all you're going to be doing is casting into your PC because Quest 2 is what you call a Quest 2 native stream. Usually when you think of virtual reality and streaming, people think it's PC VR and mixed reality. Those are actually tons of different options for virtual reality. That's one, the old school way and two, either the next level way, right? So there's an old school way for virtual reality. Then there's the Quest 2 native stream, which is kind of in the middle, the middle balance of both respectable, reputable, and affordable. And then there's your high level 4K mixed reality reality all the haptics and all the catwalks you see right here we're right in the center today with this quest 2 native stream we necessarily don't need anything 4k or next level and we're not really going with the old school type of virtual reality streaming which is just plugging into a link etc it's going to be fully wireless oculus casting this oculus casting is being able to get your quest 2 and you link it to your pc wirelessly when you link it to your pc wirelessly all that happens is that it mirrors everything that's going on now in your virtual reality headset to do is have that streaming software downloaded Streamlabs or obs and you're able to really go live and that alone once you set it all up is able to take it to an encoding stream on twitch now here's why this situation does work because you're probably like what an 80 dollars pc just a free streaming software because the reason why there's an encoding pc and there's a gaming rig pc which is pc vr for your virtual reality headset with quest 2 we are very lucky and fortunate to have this casting 
option because with casting you're not using any stress for a pc you're just mirroring and then encoding also doesn't use any stress on your pc it's just very minimal requirements to display the exact mirror to where you can get it onto here same way how everybody else streams their consoles or streams their other pcs they're just mirroring with another option and they put it onto the streaming software quest doesn't use any stress and also we don't need to be in pc vr or mixed reality what you have to do is set up a legitimate stream without trying to stress that pc what i used to do also on encoding on this dell optiplex 7020 i chose a 720 60 frames per second type stream which was still great for people that were watching on their cell phones and sometimes for people that watch on the larger screens they just don't scale it too much and this works really good all you have to do is just hardwire your pc to the ethernet and it's ready to go quest 2 native streams and pc vr streams are two drastically different things pc vr stream requires so much more than just a quest 2 native stream the quest 2 all you need is the quest 2 in itself which is known to be bred as a standalone vr headset that is wireless you cast it and you'd be able to show it on your tv or monitor getting it into your dell optiplex and that dell optiplex just projects it for you so it works as a projector is exactly what's essentially happening similar to just syncing your vr headset everything you do now from the vr headset is going to be shown anywhere and the best way to do it through the streaming software is to just put it on the stream software which is stream labs and they will get it to you on twitch for free and just like that you're able to use a quest 2 a very budget pc to just encode a stream and sync it and not really be stressed because you're not going to be playing games on the pc you're playing games on a quest 2 similar to how a console stream works but you're not using a capture card on top of all just have respectable internet and have it hardwired i guarantee you it'll work especially thanks to quest 2 being affordable people think you have to have a huge pc vr gaming rig set up for this quest 2 setup and you don't actually but hit me up with some questions i appreciate y'all y'all have a good one peace